yogis and pancakes and the fish fry I like to say that each fish fry is an adventure and, and it truly is. Whether you're after like a good fish sandwich or excellent sides or if you're just like really curious about seeing the inside of a venue that you might have never been in before. was our first fish fry. Now, we're up to four to 500 a, 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 a Friday. That's a lot in two hours. That's a lot. This year, starting out, we have 193 uh, venues on the fish fry map. Um, they range from churches to fire halls um, to community organizations to restaurants. And this is basically where all the magic happens. All the fish, one at a time. People are connected to their phones. They're connected to their smart devices. They want to be able to look and instantly say, where can I get a fish sandwich? Where can I bank? Where can I do anything? So I think it's a great resource. Clark and George. We host the data through the project I manage at Pitt. So every year there's an archive of data that we can kind of build off of and look back and see how much fish fry culture has grown in Pittsburgh. And it's grown a lot, I think, thanks to Holland. But I think when you look at uh, ways that people can contribute to the culture and keep, keep making sure that it persists, products like this and projects like this are really an important way for people to be part of something that is an important tradition here in Western Pennsylvania and other, other places around the country too. It's a Pittsburgh thing, especially because it's tradition uh, coexisting with innovation. Um, which I think is kind of a theme in Pittsburgh. We have, we have the very old juxtaposed with the very new. If with the fish fry map we can get people to those culinary traditions and, and hook that up, then we have succeeded. Is he getting fish? <laughs>